going on people mr. Ellis here thought I'd bring y'all a quick update of the African cichlids let y'all see how these babies doing the whole reason for glass city cichlids YouTube channel Throw a little bit of eat eat in there but uh yeah I just wanted to show y'all these guys real quick you see Ty looking beautiful mr. Sue back there Snoop Still the dominant one of the tank. This is Snoop Tank, period. And I think, uh, I don't know if y'all remember my newest fish, Bamboo. Where well, they ate Bamboo. Found Bamboo with his eyes plucked out and his stomach ate out. I really think Snoop did it, but hey. Innocent till proven guilty, right? Okay, but anyway. What I wanted to talk to y'all about is. Thanks to... Uh, Marty Boy 1981 I found out that the plant I really wanted which was dwarf hair grass needs CO2 so I guess it's a high-tech plant so anyway to make a long story short I just placed my order for a CO2 system it should be on its way pretty soon so now I need to know what type of light do I need I got this little thing, you know what I'm saying? It's a 10 gallon light, and it's the light bulb that came with it. It's uh, an Eclipse, the uh, natural daylight. Uh, when, it, uh, when it comes to my light, am I going to have to buy a new light bulb or whatever you would call it? Uh, fluorescent compact, whatever thingy. Or am I going to have to buy a whole new light system all together for the 10 gallon? If y'all can let me know that in the comments. And like I said, I placed the order for a Fluvo, uh, what is it, CO, I think it says CO2 20G something, I don't know. Set up to 15 gallons worth of water or whatever, 15 gallon tank. So yeah, I got that on the way and I ordered uh, some little thing that they had next to it, like a bubble counter or something, I don't know. I don't know, we talk about it in another video. But anyway, let me know what I need to do about my light, because I gotta get my light game together before that gets here. And shout out to Marty Boy1981. I will post the link in the description to his channel in case y'all don't know about him. And this was just a quick video to bring y'all update. Uh TQ. I don't know, man. TQ is I guess I don't know. Maybe I gotta be patient with TQ as far as the color. I don't know if it's a female or not because it shimmers the color like green and blue, but I don't know. Y'all probably can't see it. Oh, yeah, my freaking light died and I couldn't find another bulb to replace it. So I had to get this this big old cheap light as an emergency replacement. It's like $30, the whole strip, whatever. But it got like this orange look, natural daylight or whatever. My last light was blue. I liked it. That. It was more of a relaxing feel. Like, my tank is not even relaxing to me right now. I don't even look at it that much. I'm going to hurry up and replace that light. But, yeah. Anyway, let me know about my 10-gallon light problem and what I should do about that. And I really appreciate all the comments, all the help everyone is giving me. Everybody's coming by in the comments and giving me great advice, man. Like, I'm, when I finally get this up and going, I'm going to really owe it all to y'all because y'all, you guys are really helping me out a lot, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. Like, for real. Thank you. I appreciate it. But, yeah, Mr. Ellis, Glass City Cichlids, and I'm out.